Hello everybody, in this video we will be repasting my five years old graphics card. The graphics card we will be repasting is the RX 480 Nitro Plus OC 4GB. Let's see how dirty it is and how lower the temperatures will be after the repaste. I've been using the RX 480 for the past 4 years since 2017. And this is the first time I'll be repasting my graphics card, so it'll be a unique experience disassembling my GPU. I built like a dozen of computers but have never taken apart a graphics card. And after 5 years of this card's existence, I believe the thermal paste would be a cement right now. So it'll be really interesting to see how cooler the graphics card would be after being repasted. I'm replacing my GPU since it's been running quite hot and some of you viewers replied to my other video saying to replace my GPU. By the way, I did a 15 games benchmark of the RX 40, so if you're interested, take a look at it. The link will be in the description. And also, comparison between the GTX 1060 3GB. You can find it all on the description down below. To prepare for the disassembly, I bought the Cooler Master Gel Pro V2. It isn't the best performing thermal paste, but it was the best bang for buck thermal paste that was available on that day. I paid 8 euros for it on Amazon. I also used a paper towel, cotton buds, soft brush, 90% alcohol, and of course, screwdriver. Let's start with the disassembly. Shout out to Bits and Chips for making this teardown video of the RX 480. It helped to make the disassembly much easier. The first thing I did was to remove the fans. Thankfully, this version of the RX 480 made the fans easier to remove. Good job, Sapphire. Then, I removed the screws on the back. After doing that, I disconnected the fan header and the RGB header. The fan header was fairly easy to remove. I just used a flat screw to help me a little bit. The RGB header on the other hand was really hard to remove. I was too afraid to just use too much force and just rip apart the cable. But in the end, I was able to win this battle. This is how dirty the shroud and the back plate was. After all that struggle, I removed the screws connecting the PCB to the heatsink. Just when I thought the battle was over, this was just the start. I was afraid to bend the PCB too much and maybe break it. And we all know, this is not the time to break a GPU. While I was trying to remove the PCB to the heatsink, I then noticed two screws that I forgot to remove. After that, I could start battling with the PCB and the heatsink again. After using a little bit of force, I was able to remove the heatsink from the PCB. Finally. And here are the photos on how dirty they are. After completely tearing down my graphics card, I can now proceed with the cleaning. This is pretty straightforward, so I'm just gonna speed up the cleaning process and I hope you enjoy.
And here are the photos of the before and after. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to record the reassembly of the graphics card because I ran out of memory. I didn't notice it while I was reassembling it and repasting the graphics card. I'm sorry for that guys. After cleaning and repasting my GPU, let's take a look at two games if the temperatures improved. The games we are testing today is Fortnite and Forza Horizon 4. As you can see right from the start, there's like 2 to 3 difference of temperature between the old and new thermal paste. Both of this GPU is running completely stock, no overclock, and no custom fan curves are applied. The fan speed has remained pretty much the same, and neither of the paste were thermal throttling at the start. So for this game, I think the difference is alright. It's noticeable, but it's not that huge of a difference. Now let's proceed with Fortnite where we were having thermal throttling issues. Now let's see if the situation has improved after the repaste. Right off the bat, as you can see, the old paste was thermal throttling really hard. It can't maintain its 1306 MHz clock speed and the temperature is reaching 83 to 84 degrees. Meanwhile, the new paste is still running quite toasty at around 78 degrees, but at least it isn't thermal throttling unlike the old paste though the pan speed has remained the same, so the noise is also the same as well. To conclude this video, I'll say that I was expecting a tiny bit better thermal performance after the repaste, but it was still an improvement, so I'll take it. The graphics card wasn't that dirty even after 4 years of usage, because I cleaned it at least once every 6 months, but I never actually tore it down until today. The teardown went pretty successful. The hardest part was the removal of the RGB header and the detaching of the heatsink from the PCB. Other than that, it went pretty well at least in my opinion. So would I recommend you tearing down your GPU and cleaning it up? The answer is yes and no. It depends on your situation. May I add that tearing down your GPU might void your warranty, so make sure to check before disassembling it. Each country has their own laws. I did this because my GPU is pretty old and it was running toasty and thermal throttling at some games. That being said, if you have a fairly new GPU and you are having decent temperatures and not suffering from thermal throttling, I'd suggest you don't tear your GPU down and just brush some of the dust you can see from the shroud. Or if your fan is easily removable, remove it and then brush the exposed heatsink. It should be enough to keep it running well. Though, if you're like me and your GPU is quite old and you're suffering from thermal throttling, then I would suggest you tear down your GPU and clean it just like what I did. But I would like to say that some GPU might benefit more from cleaning compared to the others. I only made a 3 to 5 degrees difference on average in both of these games, but some might have a larger difference. Also, if the heatsink itself isn't quite adequate to cool your GPU, then changing the thermal paste wouldn't change the cooling that much unless it's really dirty. Thanks for watching everybody, thanks for all the support. Leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe to not miss upcoming tech videos, leave a comment because it helps with the algorithm, just if you want to. If you have questions or suggestions or anything, just tap it in the comments, I will reply when possible. I appreciate all of you viewers of this channel, take care and see you next time. Arrivederci e grazie a tutti.